Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Let's Play Adrift. We're going to go ahead and start this new series out. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do Let's Plays the right way because I've been watching a bunch of YouTubers doing Let's Plays and I have been doing them very terribly. So I want to go ahead and start. This is a totally new series of Let's Plays and it's going to be a reinvention of these. Now, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to play this game completely through until we finish it. I'm going to split this up into several different parts and we'll move on to our next game. So, the first game we're going to go ahead and start is Adrift. Adrift is a space type exploration game, kind of similar to the movie Gravity. Uh, now, I haven't looked too much into this game because I didn't want to be spoiled, so I don't know what it's about, but I do know that the game was created, well, developed by a guy named Adam Orth. If you're not familiar with this guy, this guy used to work for Microsoft Game Studios, and when the Xbox One was first announced with all the crazy DRM stuff, which, in my opinion, I kind of wish it was still around, and that's a very unpopular <laughs> opinion, but um, there was a lot of backlash to that, and Adam Orth basically said, deal with it, and this just caused all kinds of crap, and it was just, he ended up resigning through Microsoft. So we're going to have to play this game. Um, it's supposed to be his how he felt about the whole thing. So I've been really excited to play it. I'm a big sci-fi buff. I love the movie Gravity. I love 2001 Space Odyssey. Anything to do with space, I love. Uh, when I was a kid, I used to want to be an astronomer, so I would always be looking at astronomy books, UFO stuff, looking at the Star Wars telescope, and you know, just star-gazing in general. So let's go ahead and get started and see what we're going to be getting ourselves into. Let's uh, see. So I honestly... I've tried to start this video several times, so and hopefully I got it right this time. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start that. Hardeman Aerospace. I'm going to go ahead and skip the training because I started the game and I didn't want to do the training. I pretty much think I know how to do this now. All right, so let's see how it goes. We may or may not like this game, but I hope so. I really do. Um, there's supposed to be Oculus and HTC Vive uh, compatible. I don't know if that's now, but I imagine after seeing this game, uh, when, when it first got announced, I was pretty, I thought it looked beautiful. Um, it hasn't got very many favorable reviews, but, you know, I'm going to play it and I'll be the judge of that. So, let's see. Do, do, do. Survivor detected. Oh, I'm a survivor. I'm not survivor a survivor detected. I'm so surviving, gonna get survivor. Survivor Okay. Survivor detected. Survivor located. Initializing EBA HUD display. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no, Sandra Bullock's having a really bad day again. Oh wow, it's really pretty. Really pretty. Oh my gosh, the frame rate is terrible. Come on, Sandra Bullock. Get in there. What's up? You know better. You know better than this. Warning. EVA suit critically damaged. Oxygen leak detected. Emergency life support system online. Manual oxygen refill required. I like the particle effects. It's pretty nice. Man, my frame rate just like nope. I I really need to upgrade my PC. It just this needs to happen. I'm you know. I know what I'm going to upgrade to, but I don't know when. Get it! Come on! Alright, how much more oxygen do I need? Get it! 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 Okay. So do I need. Get it! Just grab it! Okay. Alright, so that's. Oh! Controls are a little weird. Controls are really weird, actually. 
Initializing Hardman Aerospace Identification Sequence. It's kind of hard to get used to, Data but... Transfer in progress. I don't know if that's just me. I could be wrong. Identification verified. Oshima, Alex. Commander, Hardman Aerospace North Star 4. Vital signs. Stable. Yep, I'm pretty stable. I just need to grab this. Hey, you run out of oxygen really quick. I don't know if that's just like maybe I need to upgrade my suit. Alright, let's get in here. Again, it's looks really good. The game does look really, really good. I think it was that. System damaged. Oxygen repurposed as shared life support and propulsion resource. Continual propulsion use incrementally depletes EVA oxygen reserves. Okay, let's go ahead and open this thing up. It'd be crazy, like a big freaking xenomorph just popped out. Holy shit! To thrust. So I need to thrust. Let's grab this oxygen. We need it. Hey, look at it. It is a really beautiful game. I do give it. A, I think it's running on Unreal Engine 4. I honestly haven't played very many games um, that use Unreal Engine 4 yet. I think the first game I tried was. Um, it's this survival horror game. I forget what it was called. It was like Daylight or something. Or Deadlight. Like, one of the cool things about it was the fact that if you're playing on Twitch, people can type in commands to try to scare you while you're playing it. But the game wasn't really good. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure it was either Deadlight or Daylight or some kind of light. Oh aerospace North Star 4. Catastrophic event detected. Yeah, Origin I can point. tell. Terminate. Grab it! The music. That music, though. I do like that. Alright, let's get over there. Grab, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it! Just grab it! Okay, so we need to get over there. Okay, okay, now I get it. The uh, Q and E lets me roll and stuff, so that's cool. Do a barrel roll! Really slow. Okay, yeah. Very slow. Man, I cannot imagine playing this game on a VR headset. Hopefully, hopefully soon we could have one of those. We'll never know. Just gotta get caught up and stuff on bills. So bills are good. Kids, do yourself a favor. <laughs> Live with your mom forever. Live with your parents for the rest of your life. Mission date eight. What are we Slap! North Star four. No remaining. No. Survivors. Damn it! Stop! <laughs> Just stop. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's really nice. Huh. So I guess we gotta collect stuff. Which makes it I'm running out of air. Running out of air! Get the air! Kinda reminds me of um Spaceballs when um I think his name's Schlub. Play by Mel Brooks, like grabs the canned air and it's just like. EVA repair required. Yeah, I know. I know this. You've told me this. I'm well aware. For EVA repair station located. Yeah, there it is. Is that it? Ah, uh, let's repair this thing. Let's get in there. Let's repair my suit. 
That helmet's really big. Hand for EVA repair sequence complete. Vital signs stable. Okay. So the air still is still gonna run out, so. I don't know. Maybe there's upgrades. Maybe my suit won't die nearly as bad. What do we got here? Oh, it's running into stuff. What's that? Hey, it's that's me. This is my room. Welcome. My commander, assuming review your spirit's production plan ahead of review. You are tracking possibly to remain optimistic regarding. The personnel, blah blah blah. Okay. No. That's pretty good. Damn it. Okay. Okay. Now I just gotta get out of this thing. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm done. Done reading it. I don't know why every time I see that button I want to automatically just hit uh, <laughs> escape. Uh, get up, get up. Like I said, it is kind of kind of hard to move. Hand for personal data device version 4.7 acquired. Multiple personal data devices detected and online. Location coordinates unknown. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I know, yeah, I know, I know you're gonna die. I know, I'm trying, get to it, get to it, get to it! Oh, shit. Okay, so we got that, that was close. At least it gives you a little bit of time. Just grab it. I just think it'd be really cool if you if you're playing the game and you're using the HTC Vive's little controllers. That'd be amazing. Holy crap. Okay. Alright, so what now? Obviously there's something we need to do. I don't really say what we need to do, but we need to do something. It's not going this way. It's okay. At least we got more air. Nope, 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 more oxygen. That's not good. Ah, shit, we're gonna die again. Maybe I can get to that computer. There we go. Terminal. Maybe just maybe we can do Spirited something. Spirited system damaged and offline. Initializing diagnostic sequence. Cerebrum core corrupt. Mainframe offline. Cerebrum module inactive. Spirited system repair required for Salvis EEV life support system operation. Locate system mainframe. Fabricate cerebrum core. Repair cerebrum module. Okay. Let's repair that thing. And uh, I need air. I need I need a can of air. Canned air, please. Give it to me. Fresh air. I keep on bumping into shit. Okay, so where to now? What do we want to do now? Do I need to go this way? Yeah, it's where we want to go. Okay, there's another one of those thingies. Personal log, system specialist, McDonough, Andrew, 17, April, 2037. 
Finally going home. Doesn't even seem real. 22 months since mission start. 10 longer than I signed up for in the first place. So obviously we're going to go out this window. I promised myself I wouldn't leave her like this again. Broke both of those promises by taking another selfish paycheck job while Shit. my life passes me by down below. Father of the year. Alex really no. came through for me on this. I owe her one. Can't wait to get off this goddamn station. At least the voice acting is pretty nice. Okay, so I guess we're going to have to get up. Let's get up. Oh man, the controls. Even Mal <laughs> I guess it's probably just me, but it's fuck awful to the control. Okay, there we go. Oh, come on. Come on, just go out the window. That's where we want to go. Out the window. Okay, so let's go it. We don't want to go too far out and just float away. But we do want that air. Give me the canned air. But where do I want to go? Where do we go? Okay. Okay, there's it. So I'm noticing, I'm just noticing everything all at once now. Okay, so there's arrow on that little map that tells me where to go. Maybe I should have looked at that the first time. So I guess we're going this way. Okay. If I can just get a hang of the controls. Come on, don't die. Just don't die. I think we need to go down there. I'd imagine. Should we find something here? Is there anything in this hole? Maybe. Looks like there's something here. Let's check it out. Wouldn't hurt. It's a, it's a plant. Okay. Hand four spiritus mainframe damaged and offline. Manual repair required. Well, I don't see a way to repair it, so I guess we're not repairing it. Uh, crap. 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 That's like no what happened. I guess we'll find out. Come on, is there no? Holy crap! I need, I need air. Again, you run out of it really, really fast. Oh shit! Yep, I'm gonna die. There's just no way. There's no way. Come on! Come on! Come on! You've been through this before. Dead. You're dead. You're dead. Oh, you're so. Dead. <sighs> Let's try this again. Let's try it again. Okay, I guess I just get a hang of the controls. That's the best the thing. It's kind of slow. Um, I may have to turn it down a little bit. Put on an epic setting. So I'm guessing my hard drive, not hard drive, my uh, my graphics. Cards are not, they're, they're quite old at this point. 278.70s are not good enough to run this at full 60 frames per second. But it's doing its best. It's running at a little above 30, which is okay. But I prefer playing this on 60. But nevertheless, it's a beautiful game. I do, definitely do like it a lot. Um, just the way it looks. As far as gameplay, though. 
Um, I'd say they, I could, I'd say it could use a little bit better controls, maybe. Get to it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Oh! Get it! Yes! Holy shit! No. Okay, come on, come on, come on. I guess I just need to get down there. I see oxygen. I see it. I see my canned air. So after this video, I will have, um, well, after this Let's Play, I will start recording a new episode of the game feed. As well as uh, coming up with a topic for the next next like let's talk, but um, man, I just finished up Doom, and I'm gonna have to tell you, I I had to go ahead and say without a reasonable doubt in my mind, Doom and Wolfenstein: The New Order is probably the best first-person shooters to come out in a long, long time, a long time. And I, you know, I know I'm a little late to the game of Wolfenstein. I played that game when it first came out, and I absolutely loved it. And ah, Doom is so good. Um, and I didn't feel one bit bored at the game, and I didn't want it to end. And when it finally ended, I was like, no. Artemis Aerospace, this is Mission Control. Do you copy? No. Artemis Aerospace, this is Mission Control. Do you copy? No, I really don't copy right now. I'm floating in space, trying to get canned air, and my helmet's really, really massive. And for administer series four version two point three, how may I assist you? Assist you. Assist you. Assist you. Assist you. I can't do that, Dave. Assist you. Assist you. Assist you. Assist you. Okay. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that. Look at the water. It's just, I wonder if I like. Wow. That's so amazing. Well, they definitely got the atmosphere down, that's for sure. I do feel like I am in space. So my fiance, she's going to be out for about two weeks, so I will be doing a whole lot more, whole lot more videos uh, than I usually do, especially if E3 coming here pretty soon, which I am really excited for E3. I always am. I always do a lot of content for E3, and I spend a lot of time on social media just talking and driving my fiance crazy. <laughs> It was just funny, whenever she, her and I started uh, dating, she made the mistake of following me on Twitter. And um, <laughs> I post a lot on Twitter when it comes to that. And she just unfollowed me immediately because it was like announcement after announcement after announcement. Look at that pretty tree. That is a pretty tree. Yeah, I copy. I totally copy. Maybe we need to go over here. Hand four audio terminal version four point three located. Multiple audio terminals detected and online. Lo 
location coordinates unknown. Okay. Incoming communication. Hardiman Air Aerospace. I did it again. Transfer. 16 April 20. Incoming communication. Hard Incoming communication. Hardiman Aerospace confirmation of transfer. 16 April 2037. Transfer status approved. Approver Commander Oshima Alex. Recipient Systems Specialist McDonna Andrew. Mission North Star 4. Departure date, 8 July 2037. Method, resupply shuttle. Destination, Hardiman Aerospace Launch Facility, Santa Monica, California. Okay. Replacement, Collins, Misha, Indigo Kai. That explains things. Incoming communication. No! Hardiman Aerospace confirmation Just of transfer. Let me 16. The fuck out! 2037. Transfer status approved. <laughs> it's just not gonna let me go. Commander Oshima, Alex, recipient, system specialist. I definitely Alex. understand that. Mission. Trust me, forward. I know. Departure date: 8 just, just July 2037. Method: resupply shuttle. Destination: Harbor uh. Launch Facility, Santa Monica, California. Replacement: Collins, Misha, Indigo Kai. Just, I just want to exit the damn thing. <laughs> okay. Oh, there, there we go. I, see, I'm terrible at this. I'm just, I feel so stupid right now. Right, let's go ahead and grab this. There we go. So I think we're going to go ahead and get ready to cut this off here in just a few moments. We're going to try to keep it 30 minutes per episode, so I think this may be a good stopping point. So let's go ahead and save this. Well, I don't think we can save it. I think that's automatic. System specialist, McDonough, Andrew, 2, July, Okay. Well, we'll get to a checkpoint, then we'll call it. Just look at that, it's crazy. Just how everything just floating around. And the music goes really good too. This kind of builds this tension, like, you know, something bad obviously happened. It makes you kind of think something else bad is going to happen. Like I said, if you've seen the movie Gravity, you know things progressively get worse for her. We call it Sandra Bullock's very bad day. I mean, she has a shit day that day. What's that? Hang on, is that a dead guy? I think it is. Yeah, it's a dead guy. Totally dead guy, I called it. Let's go grab him. We need oxygen before we grab the dead guy. Hang on, I'll get to you here in a second. I need. Now let's check the dead guy. Ah, you're so dead. Sorry. At least you got your cell phone. So we found your friend. She's not alive. Or he or she, whatever. I'm trying to remember 
and gravity like the very first few minutes of it, that guy gets like hit with a space rock right through his head the craziest thing oh crap working on it I think that's going to do it here. We are at our checkpoint here, so we'll do. We'll continue this game here. Well, I'll put out a, hopefully another episode either by tomorrow or Wednesday. So hopefully we'll have something new by then, and we'll try to finish this game up together. And this is if something you guys like. If you like this format a whole lot better than the other Let's Plays, uh, let me know in the comments below. And as always, be sure to hit like and subscribe. Help this channel grow. And uh, I definitely will appreciate it. And I, I definitely appreciate all the support so far. And again, like I said, like, subscribe goes a long way. I love you and take it easy.